You're right. Okay. Yep. It's a yep. recycling. You're exactly right. Wrong. Exactly. You have to be hyper skeptical. Uh, exactly. You should be hyper skeptical about everything, even the so Bible. Then, so then you don't know if you could trust the Quran. No. You see, this is where you're wrong. So, so hyper being hyper skeptical. By the way, every single person should do that with every single text, whether it's the Quran, whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Torah, right? Because this is our souls, right? Now, here's the thing. I was hyper skeptical about the Quran because I'm not going to just believe something because I was born in it. I'm going to look through it. And the Quran actually has two tests. So God in the Quran said, I don't know, I don't know if the Bible has this, but the Quran says, okay. So the Quran actually answers this in a beautiful way. It's like, if I'm so, so God says in the Quran, if, if this is made by a man, there'd be a lot of mistakes and contradictions in it. So find one. So that's the first test. That's the you first result, right? I have one. one contradiction or mistake. So that's number I, one. I, I have one. And number two is, um, I have one. Produce a chapter like it. So, so those are the two it. barometers. So, so you should be hyper skeptical, but you should also see and test for yourself if it passes those two barometers. Right, so here's Does two it things. contradict or is there any mistakes? And number two, can you produce a chapter like it? And no right, one's so, been ever, ever no, it's been passed for the last 1400 years. No one's so, ever been. So I got you. So I, I, I have a contradiction that I want to show you. Um, you know, and you know, you're going to take how you take it, but yeah, that's how I, I think <laughs> it's going to go. But, I'm gonna show you one. I mean, let's and talk two, about Christianity. Two, I want to talk about Christianity. I want to talk about the Bible. I want to talk about we're, Jesus we're, too. You know, let's get there after. In a, okay? in a second, yeah. Sure, yeah, sure. yeah. Two, Omar did it. Omar brought something like the Quran. He came up with three verses that ended up in the Quran that Allah agreed with. You're Quran. talking about Surah Al Haqqa, and no, he didn't. He, he no, he he mm -hmm. didn't. He didn't bring when it. When it when it came to women veiling themselves, the wives veiling themselves, that was mm -hmm. Omar. When it came to uh, again, you know, again, that's a hadith, right? You're going back to the hadith. Well, You're that's what that. That's how you know you you don't know anything without the hadith about Islam. You don't. You don't know what your Quran is without the hadith. You yeah, but if the hadith if you, contradicts the Quran, you throw it out. That's not. That doesn't contradict the Quran. But, but you're saying again, you're saying that someone the, wrote the Quran it. itself is a hadith, bro. It's it, a okay. hadith. Oh, 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 okay. So, so basically, if Omar. Right, if or Omar, right? If he does something or anybody does something, right, and 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 God wants to reveal it, God will reveal it, but it's not that Omar wrote it or he said it. It was God revealing it to as, this is what Omar, to Prophet Muhammad through Angel Gabriel. So Omar so, didn't reveal anything. Okay. So when it says that Allah agreed with Omar, Omar said something. He said three things, boom, boom, boom. And Allah agreed with all those things, and Muhammad says, "Yes, it was revealed to me." Like, yeah, a lot of a lot of Shias disagree so, with that. So idea. that would so that would mean that Omar would be a prophet, just like Muhammad. No, there's there's no 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 no. You see, this is this is what people do, and and, and you know, there was a lot of wars after the Prophet's death, and. A lot of hadiths were, were fabricated just to make people look better, you know. Um, you know, I, I would probably take the hadith, but not in the way that you're taking it, though. I wouldn't so how, take it. So how do you how, how do you take it? How do you take when it says? Yeah, Omar, Omar did something oh, great. Omar said this. Omar did my, something my great. My Lord agreed with me in three things. I yeah. said boom, 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 and then it was revealed that way. Who, who's narrating this? Omar himself. He's narrating it to who? Uh, to the people, let's see. Uh, I'll bring up the hadith exactly. Yeah, what's the, what's the hadith? <laughs> I'd love to read it. So we just it's work. Very just, so we're the, just so we're on the same page. And is this so? So is this like the? So is this you're trying to like? What's the what's the point here? Like, so the point here is that when the Quran says bring something like it, someone did. Omar brought brought three things. No. Like it. He didn't. He didn't say a, a verse, and then God took his words and put it in the Quran. That's not that's, what happened. That's, that's like exactly what happened. Bro. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, man. Eh? Let me show no. you. That's, ex because, that's because exactly. Then, what that's it. Islam is over. You did it, bro. I know. <laughs> you know <that's> <laughs> I know. Either that, or 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 there's a language barrier. No, it's no language barrier. There's no none of that. Islam is finished, bro. Come to Christianity. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. All right, look. So I'm a. I'm a uh, turn it on the screen so we can all see it, okay? You, you, you didn't do it, bro. I, I like you, though, man. I do I do like you. I like you, you too. I like you, Davey. <laughs> Avery, Avery, actually, is right. Sorry. Yes, sir. No, you got me, dude. He's, you know, he's, you know 21st century. Oh, my. Um, let's, let's search this up, though, um, because... Here it is. Oh, okay. 
What is it's this? Sah- it's Sahya Bukhari four four eight three. If you want to look at it yourself, this is Asuna.com. Yep. Okay, and it's narrated Anas. Okay, so it's narrated Anas, not Umar. Excuse me. <clears throat> so narrated Anas, Umar said, "I agreed with Allah in three things," or said, "My Lord agreed with me in three things." I said, "O oh Allah's messenger, would you would that you took." the station of Abraham as a place of prayer. I also said, O Allah's messenger, good and bad persons visit you. Would that you ordered the mothers of the believers to cover themselves with veils. So the divine verses of Al-Hijab, veiling women, were revealed. Why were they revealed? Because Omar said it. Omar the Great, right? Omar yeah, no, this is this is this is not real because how could real, Omar bro, a human No 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 but but this is why we disagree now. And, and this is the problem with only taking hadith, right? God is all wise. So how could a man tell God what to do? The point it would be hold very on, hold good. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah says I am the all wise. So here's I the am point. the all knowing. The point right? is, that's listen, God. Listen, here's the point. The point is is that that would prove the Quran and Islam false because it met the challenge therefore it's not from god we can't we can't just say when the quran makes a challenge right and then we find somebody that meets the challenge then say oh no 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 see this has to be fake right this is sahih abu Bukhari. this is the, the, the best sources so the only conclusion is that the, the quran's challenge was met and therefore it's not from god okay so let me ask you a question sure. all right God is all-knowing, right? I mean, this is a stupid question. We all know God is all-knowing. Why would a man, right? Why would a man say, oh, we should do this or we should do that. And then God listen, like we're, we're not understanding it fully or no. <laughs> or the Hadith is fabricated, right? No, it's, we are. And, we and are, by look, the way, no. by the way, Muslims, there's nothing wrong with saying something is fabricated, by the way. This isn't an L or anything like that, because once he finds a contradiction with the Quran, which he never will, then that's the real L, which will never happen because it's from God. There is not, no one in 1400 years have been able to find a contradiction within the Quran. He's going to a Hadith that may or may not be fake. And if it is real, then we don't understand it because we don't have the knowledge. I mean, I'll, wait, I'll just wait, wait, what, what do you, what do you mean you don't understand it? You, it does, it's not rocket science. Like, don't do. Do not allow Islam to insult your intelligence. You're smart enough to read what's in your face, like I am. I, we, we don't have to be, uh, you know, uh, just super Tony Stark geniuses, geniuses to read this hadith and see exactly what it says. It says, Omar said something, and then so the divine verses of Al-Hijab was revealed. Omar said something, Allah revealed it next. So showing that Omar said three things that were Quran verses, <laughs> a human. So either. No, Omar, no, they're not Quran, brother, brother, not Quran, brother, brother, not Quran verses. So like, let's say, let's say, so let's say, Quran verses, bro. no, it's not Quran verse. It's, it's, it's the reason why the verse was revealed, and but it, it wasn't quote, the words of Omar. Okay. Let me, sh- let me show you something. Let me show you something. You see this? Okay. Look, watch. So let me show you the act, the actual Quran verse almost verbatim. Yeah. Right? It mm-hmm. says, Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I came to know the prophet, had blamed some of his wives, so I entered upon them and said, you should either stop troubling the prophet or else Allah will give his apostle better wives than you. When mm-hmm. I came to one of his wives, she said to me, oh, Omar, does Allah's messenger uh, have what he could advise his wives with that you tried to advise them? Thereupon, Allah revealed, watch verbatim, it may be if he divorced you, his Lord will give him instead of you wives better than you. Exactly. So God is the exactly best of what planners. Said. So God is the best of planners, and you're reading it in English. So, for example, let's say, let's say, bro, 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 you, before you go there, doesn't yeah. so Allah literally quotes what you're reading it in English, brother. You're reading it in English, brother. So that, you, you that's speak, why I'm saying Arabic. 
Yeah, a little bit, but there, there's a barrier here. No, so, barrier. so, so, no, just no. because, just because Omar had a had like, like, okay, so Omar said something to his daughter, right? Who was no, the not prophet's to his wife? Daughters, to, to the, to the so, prophet's and wives. by the way, his daughter was the one, was one of his wives, the prophet's wives. He's he's having a conversation with her. God is all hearing. So after Omar, so it's kind of like an activation here, okay? So Omar, Omar activates Allah's revelation. No, no, it's God is the best. God knows the future. God is planning all of it, right? It's destiny and free will at the same time. God is the best of planners. So God reveals it at the perfect time. Allah okay. reveals it at the perfect time. So, so because time Omar, Omar did something, it's not, it's not, and God, by the way, God's not quoting Omar he he in, 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 in the poetic way of the Quran. No, Come on, God is bro. taking the information and doing it in his words, in his way, at his time. He this knows, is actually the knows. perfection. You proved the Quran right here, okay, actually. All right, all right, just hold on a second, okay, because look, when it comes to our text and it comes to these conversations, we have to to be honest with ourselves and with the text. We can't make stuff up. We can't add to, the <clears throat> add to the text or take away. We have to take the text for what it says in its context and you know, address it as such, okay? We cannot deny what is here. We can't make stuff up, all right? When it says here that Omar said it, and then we literally have the quote, Allah quoting it, thereupon Allah revealed, boom, 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 exactly what Umar just said. So do you I think, think, not, look, look, do you think God will get to a let me, level let me of man? This. Let me finish this. Let me finish this, Joe. Uh, Mo, sorry. Let me finish this. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's either Umar gets divine revelation just like Muhammad does and is therefore a prophet just like Muhammad is. Or where does it say or, that though? Hold on, where does it say that? Before you even go, or where does it say that Angel Gabriel came to Omar? Like, oh, no, no, that's, this is my point. My point is, is that Muhammad claims mm -hmm. that everything that comes to him is from Gabriel, from Allah. It's all revelation. That's what Muhammad, that's what Muhammad claims. Well, if that's the case, then Jabril revealed to Muhammad what Omar already had. A mir life. That's a miracle. <laughs> okay, so if it's, so good. So how would Muhammad so if know a, if it so wasn't? Listen, so how would Muhammad know miracle, if it wasn't in the conversation? If if it's a miracle, if it's a miracle, no, he was. He's talking. He's, he's, he's talking no, he's to talking to his wife. So how would and the him. prophets or something know at the same exact so look, time? So look, it's simple. It's very simple. But you're not answering my question, though. You're just trying to debate. I'm not trying. I'm trying to really understand. You didn't let me. You didn't let me get my point out, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's either Omar is just as inspired as Muhammad is, or Omar is not inspired and has this verse in his head, and also Muhammad is not inspired, and they're just men making stuff up, or Muhammad is just making stuff up based no, on. You're not. You're not getting it, brother. You're not getting it. No, you're not getting it, bro. Okay, so first right, so what, of all, what, what Omar's not inspired. That's not what this means. Okay, that's not what this means. How could Omar be inspired? He's not a prophet, dude. You know. Like, how is that even on the table, bro? Come on. Like you said, we have to be honest, man. Like, so then he shouldn't be being able to reveal verses that he's not revealing point. verses. So something is happening in person, right? In one place of the world. And then the prophet Muhammad is getting like a Wi-Fi signal from angel Gabriel, from God about what's exactly happening. It's God's re revelation on what's happening. And this happens so many times. Like some people, like for example, Something happened in the mosque. A man was giving charity while praying, okay? The prophet wasn't in the mosque, but the prophet got angel Gabriel with what's happening from God himself, right? So this happens a lot where a situation is happening and God is revealing what's happening to the prophet. That's what makes him a prophet because God is all seeing. So God is the ears of the prophet in this situation and the eyes of the prophet in this situation. You get what I'm saying? And by, I, I don't mean actual eyes and ears and hands. I mean it from the metaphorical way, of course. So this is just proving that God is real here and God is seeing something happening and then revealing it to the prophet at the same time, bro. Okay. Omar can't reveal anything. And by the way, the Quran <clears throat> linguistically in Arabic, you, we can't even make a sentence like it, bro. So even if this happening, so even if God is quote so even if God is quoting, right, someone, like for example, God quotes
the way the, 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 the Arabic bounces off my tongue and the way that it's orchestrated. So basically, Anar al-Bukum al-A'la, Pharaoh is saying to his people, you, you, you I gotta am get God. to your point. You gotta get right. to your point, bro. You gotta yeah, the, the point is, is that nobody could make anything like it. So the okay. point is, is God could take a quote, but he'll take the quote and the information and he'll put it in a miracle way to where nobody could actually reenact that. Nobody could do it from their own mind. And so, Except when we read that Umar said literally when I came to his wives, or I'm sorry, I came to know that blah, 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 blah. And this is what he said. You should either stop or else Allah will give his apostle better wives than you. And then thereupon Allah revealed, it may be if he divorced you, his Lord will give him instead yeah, you're, of you you're, wives you're, better than you. This, I like, it's literally what Umar said. You can't, in there's, English, there's no way around this, bro. But not in Arabic. In English, but not in Arabic. Okay, sure. All right, we can move on though. Wait, why are you on. saying sure though? Like, I'm serious. Like, he, I, I know you're serious. Uh, you know, I'm like, sorry, you know, though. Like, have, I'm, we, have, we have two, we have two different positions on this. It's uh, your position is clear to you, mine is clear to me. Got to move on. It's all right. But you're you're reading it in English, brother. Sure. I mean, I guess. Do I need to know? I need to know. You Arabic have to learn Arabic. Say. You have to learn Arabic. Do, do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? It's not my first language. I I had to learn myself. If I, if I pulled this up in Arabic, would you able to read it? I I would read a little bit, but I'm not I'm not a scholar. I'd have to go to the people yeah. of knowledge. So I'd probably go to the people who would explain it to me in Arabic exactly. Okay, what sure. It so so how about this? Yeah. How about this? Just take that hadith, take it to someone that you trust, and ask them to explain that to you. Okay. I mean, I don't have. I don't. The thing is, I don't have to know Arabic to really understand what's happening here. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Like it's that obvious to me, but to you, I guess the Arabic would make more sense to you. Because why it's would the Arabic the make time. more sense to me? Why, why would the Arabic make more sense to me when because I don't speak it? I see what's written right there in my face, and I, it's clear to me what's happening. But you think God but, is but, taking but, 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 but you read the same them. thing, and you're saying you don't need to know the Arabic to come to the conclusion, but I do. What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on to the next point, bro. Let's move on. I want to show you the contradiction. Again, this is this is a hadith. It's not even in the Quran. So, well, that's it's your history. Your history. You can't deny it. If you reject the hadith, if you look, if you want to become Quran alone, then become Quran alone, like my friend, proud Muslim. You know, he doesn't nah. have to face these problems. Nah, I'm not Quran alone. We're, we're not only, Quran alone. I only, I only deny any hadith that contradict the Quran, and nobody. I don't care about anybody because I don't follow crowd. I don't follow crowd. I follow the Deen and Law and the Quran and authentic ideas, not Sahih. Even if it's Sahih, if we deny, if we are contradict the Quran. See, exactly. I said the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, really and when weird. we and when we see that the hadith that we brought actually don't contradict the Quran, then we're mm -hmm. still in a pickle here. I'm we're still left with Allah having body mm -hmm. parts and mm -hmm. Umar coming yeah. up with three verses in the Quran. I don't know if you're ready for something. I'm even here for a question and answer me and you. You ready? You have a question? No, no, no. I said you want to go with quick question and answer with me. Uh, sure. Okay, we're gonna do Bible, Quran, right? Well, I like to stick on one. So if you no, want, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, I like I, I like to stick on one topic. So if you want, mm, no. actually, oh, yeah. I prefer. Listen, it's, you. it's okay if you want. I'm going I'll give you, you like a listen, listen, problem is one. I'll give you uh -huh. the floor to ask me Bible questions. Okay, you can ask me Bible questions like, you know, for a good at least I don't know twenty minutes or so. I have and then, one, and then we'll and then we'll. I don't want to take you all twenty minutes like that. I want to do. Okay, you don't have much time to spend today. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is, listen, listen. What I'm saying is, is okay. that I doing question and answer, question and answer like that, and switching off like that doesn't is not productive. I don't like that. So I like to stay no, focused on one on one type of flow. If the flow of the conversation is on the Bible, then we'll do that for, for quite some time and then we'll switch. So um, if you want to start with I, the Bible, I'll allow, I'll allow you to start with the Bible first. We I prefer we Bible. do this. I prefer we do this. I'm going to ask you a question on Bible. You're going to ask me a question on Quran. Then we keep, no. keep going. I just told you uh, no. No, I don't like that. That means you're on the Why? 
No, you don't. Brother, we gotta, brother, we gotta <laughs> respect his space. We gotta respect his space. That's that's he wants to do it. He knows, we know, me. He knows me. He's my. He knows me. He's my friend. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So you know, look, I'm literally giving you time to question me about the Bible, just solo. You know? Okay. How many questions are we gonna be doing? I'm gonna ask you two questions. You're gonna ask me two questions. Uh, one question. One no, question. I'm, I'm just, 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 just ask him a question, bro. Just, look, let's look, just get look, the conversation look, going. Just look, ask him a question. Look, this is what this is what we're gonna do. I'll give you a time. I'll give you time. You have 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You can ask me whatever on the Bible. That's we'll just talk about specifically the Bible and your questions. Then after that. We'll switch to the to Islam and the Quran, and then keep going like that. Fair? Um, I don't really like that. I prefer one question at a time. One question no, at a time. It's, it's, it's either take it or leave it, bro. Well, I don't know why. But I don't know why some people don't like that. Though. But I love it. it, it so, so, it so, uh, I, I could ask a couple questions, by the way, on the Bible. I don't have the verses on me, but maybe you know the verses, so we don't like. I don't want to have like a quote. You get what I'm saying? Got, like, like, for, like, for you example, know, you, know, you know, I got thousands of Bible verses on my head, right? Here. Yeah, but let's not let's not make it like this. We're, we're brothers, man. Like, it doesn't have to be this way. You know, let's do it in a in a nice way, in a conversation way, in a fruitful way, and let's try to get to the truth together, man. You know, let's let's not do red versus blue. You know, Islam versus Christianity. That's not that's not productive, man. What I, I, so look, before we get to the Bible, I had a I had a a contradiction that I wanted to show you, and then we can go to the Bible. Uh, you can show me. You're gonna ask me a question about the contradiction that you think that is contradicting. Ask me a question and I will answer you about it. How about that? Sure, sure. Okay, go ahead. So that chapter 35, verse 18. Okay, the first one is chapter 35, verse 18. <clears throat> uh, I'm the last of the factory, verse 18. You know, no one could bear another person's uh, burden like their sins. Okay, chapter 5, the first 18 said, And no bearer of burdens, burden of another, and if a heavily laden soul cause another, it lose nothing of it. We carry, even if you should be a close relative, you can only warn those who fear the Lord unseen and have established prayer and whoever purifies himself only purifies himself for the benefit of his soul and to Allah is the final destination. Okay. Which one, did, which one contradict this? What, what did you understand from that? Okay. Allah said, and no bearer of the burdens will be as the burdens of another, meaning that everyone we, you know, inherit, we, you know, we surely be given according to what he did or she did in yeah. this, li this life. And if, if a heavily land landed soul calls another to carry some of it, of a load, nothing of it will be carried by any other person, meaning that everything that you do is yours. So we should not contradict this. This, this, this makes this makes perfect sense until the first sin that the Christians believe. But other than that, you know, like from a realistic perspective, like from you, Avery, like your sins, like you don't want the sins from someone else, right? Like right. so, so it makes sense from from everything except for what you guys believe in with the first sin. So I think that's why you have the problem, right? So we understand that this verse is very clear that no one can bear the burdens of another, even if it was a family member, someone heavy laden. No one will take yeah. that laden. You know, no one will take that load. You bear your own, period. Sense. Yeah, yeah you bear yeah. your own sense. Yeah. All right, good. All right, we got that. Now, go to chapter 16, verse 25. Okay. So I don't know how. Chapter 16, verse 25, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It says. Okay, let's read the full context here as well. So maybe the verse before and the verse after. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That's normal. That's normal. And when it is said to them, What has your law sent down? They say, Lenged of the former people. Mm, okay. Yeah. Asatiro Owalin, yeah. That they may be a that they may bear their burdens in full on the day of resurrection and some of the burdens of those whom they misguide whom they misguide without knowledge unquestionable unquestionably evil is that which they bear yeah makes sense all right 
So this says, it's very clear. I think we both, all three of us understand what the verse said, that okay. Okay. a person yep. will bear their own burdens in full and mm -hmm. as well as the burdens of yeah. others of whom they misled without knowledge, right? That's also, yeah, it's in the middle of the sentence. sentence. Okay. It, it, you're in the middle of the hold, sentence also as well. So, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother, please. Uh, this, is, this is not even contradiction. Let me explain it. This is telling you that, okay, now, uh, I did something. What that means, this verse is telling you that the person is bearing the burden of what he did by himself because he's the one that make them misguided, not them that did it by themselves. So it's the same thing. It's not contradictory. All right. Does it say that he bears his own burdens in full? Oh, yeah. He's bearing the burden. Yeah, so, so, he bears, so he bears all of his own burdens, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The but they also yeah. say, as well as some of the uh, some others, some of the yes, burdens he, of he, he, others. He, he, that, is that is his work left. as well. That is his work as well. Okay, for example, well, no, 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 it's not. Wait. Yes, yes, he, yes, yes. Just slow down. That it great, says I'm, that he bears. I got you. It says he, that he yeah, bears in, he be his it. own burdens in full. So all oh, yeah. of his own burdens he bears. Oh, right? yeah. oh yeah. And then it says, as well as some of the burdens of others that he misled without knowledge. So oh, yeah, the exactly. people that he misled oh, yeah. will also bear some of yeah, their Yeah, so, so well, it's, right? a, it's a multiplier for you. So for example, you know how Abel, Cain and Abel, how one of the brothers killed the other brother, right? He was the first, that was the first time murder happened on the earth. So he will get, right, the sins of, you know, like, cause he established that on earth. So for example, the devil, right? When he goes to hellfire, he, he's going to have mountain of sins, right? Mountain of sins. Even if he's not doing it, he's the one misguiding people. So the people who are misguided will get the sin for themselves, but Satan ultimately still gets the sin as a multiplier because he had a big effect in it. So, so according, so according to the verse, the person who misleads someone bears their own sin and then also takes on some of the sin of the person that they misled. No, out, no, no, right? no, 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 It's not taking no, away sin from them. Oh, no, so, no, so, no, what, no, so what does so it say? Hold on, hold on, I, I can explain it. He's not taking away sin. It's just being added to the guy who was misguiding all these people. So will he, will he be bearing other people's burdens? No, 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 no. He will he it won't? Will be, he won't be bearing other people, like taking away. Okay. They, wait, wait, they, I, I did not, wait, wait, it's, it's simple. Does it say that he will be bearing? No, other you're not people's... understanding it in the way that it's supposed to be no, no, understood. It's, it's, it's simple. Just answer. Will he bear yeah. the burdens of some others? Without <laughs> taking away their burden. No, no, That's it doesn't say without say. taking away their burden. Uh, yeah, yeah, it literally yeah. says Look, he will on. bear the burden of others that he misled, correct? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, please. Uh, you see, uh, first of all, Allah says something in Quran chapter 2 verse 6, 269. Sorry, okay. Hold on. Just give me one second to prove something right quick. I just need an answer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've already answered you. I can answer but, again. But, but, but what, no, no, what no, I'm no, saying, my, my, does my it not question, make sense though? My question is very simple. Answer. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Does I'm, the verse say I've already answered the person you. will bear the burdens of others? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, Easy. so the, the, uh, let's, let's put it okay, into a practical so that's, example. Look, stop Hold here. on. I don't, I don't put need it into a practical example. example. I, I, I don't need an example. Well, you're not understanding I'm, it. I'm so no. perfectly understanding of the verse. I don't no, need you're an not. example. You're I don't not need an example. It, bro. I don't okay. need an example. Okay. okay. So Let me ask. It says, me please, again. please. So it says that they will bear their own burdens in full. So everything that they've done wrong, yes, they will bear their own burdens completely. Everything yeah. that they've done wrong, including misleading someone, that's a, that's a burden that they've done, and they will take it on. Then it says, as well as some of the burdens of those that they've misled without knowledge. What was the so first they verse? will bear their own burdens, and they're taking on burdens that are not their own, but they're taking it on because they misled these particular people. What was the first verse, the number? I just want to see if the, the word burden is the same in both verses. 30, 35, 18. 35, 18. It says it in multiple verses. Okay? So according so, to the other verse, according to the other verse, no bearer of burden, no bearer of burden will bear the burden of another, even if his burden, if he was heavy laden, and somebody asked or whatever, yeah. he will not be put on someone else, and you will only take your own. So when Pharaoh, when that's Pharaoh what thirty-five tells, eighteen says, yeah, yeah. So but when then, Pharaoh, 
<laughs> but then 16 says, well, actually, there are there is a case where someone will bear the burden of someone else. As long as it's someone right. they've misled. Chat, chat. That's if, a if contradiction. I'm Chat, if, if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, please tell me, okay? Because this is an example. If Pharaoh tells his soldiers, kill all the Jewish babies, okay? Because Pharaoh say, was an evil man. Say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let I'm me tell you, you got to say unalive. Don't say that word. The oh, word sorry, sorry, sorry. Unalive. Unalive. Sorry, you. sorry, sorry, sorry. Let, let's, okay, Pharaoh's telling his soldiers to do bad things, okay? And these soldiers do bad things. They are going to get sins for that. But. Did Pharaoh gave them the order? So are they going to, is Pharaoh going to take away their sins because Pharaoh gave them the order? Or did they do bad things as well? So what God is saying is they will all be punished. Pharaoh, just because he gave the order, you still did the order. So in this verse, it's saying that the people, right, that misguide and mischief, they won't get the, the they'll, they'll, because Pharaoh didn't do the act, he still ordered the act, but he will still get the sin of the act and the command, and the people doing the act will get the sin for the act. But Pharaoh will be multiplied because he ordered it, and it was sanctioned, and it happened. So he'll get multiple sins for that. So that's what that means. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I heard you out. Now I'm going to respond to this. The reason why that doesn't work is because you're making it up and putting that interpretation into the text. It's not what it says. It doesn't say that the person will not be punished for that anymore. It literally says, and it's very simple, very, very simple. The one verse says, no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another, period. period. Yep. So what do you think that means? No, let me, let me finish. What do you it's think simple. that means? It's simple. You will, yeah, only, you, will only be, you will only bear the sin, the burden that, mm -hmm. you, have, that you have committed. No yeah. one else's. No mm -hmm. one else's burden will be put on you. Exactly. That's what the verse says explicitly. Is, is that fair you, or not fair? Then you go to 16. It's not about whether it's fair or not. It's about the contradiction. You go to 16. In 16, it says, oh, well, actually, a bearer of burden will bear the burden of another that they've misled. So one says, no bearer of burden will bear the burden of another. The other verse says, Yes, a bearer of burden will bear the burden of another if he misled them. That's a contradiction no matter how many times, how you interpret it, it's a contradiction. However you make sense of the verse, and I understand you making sense of the verse, the point is, is that they are bearing burdens of others. The other mm -hmm. verse says it won't happen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so like I said, I answered the question already, but I will answer it again, okay? First of all, Allah says something in Quran chapter 2, verse 6 to 69. Allah said he gives knowledge, the wisdom to whom he wills, and whoever he, give him, he has given the wisdom to understand this Quran, certainly has given him much good things. And none will understand this Quran except illa ulul al -bab, except they understand the people, right? What Allah is telling you right there is whatever you do, and that you influence people to do, you're going to gain it. Meaning that everything that the person is still bearing is his work. So it's not about his work. It's his work. Because he's the one that misguided him. So he has to bought to get everything that he, he did through those people that because they don't know. He is the one that caused all those things. So he has to gain it. He got, he got to be rewarded for everything that he done. So you take it as a contradiction. Okay, no, no problem. But we have explained it to you and have answered to you. Now, I have my own question. Can we go? Uh, yeah, let me just finish this one and then we can move on to the Bible. Okay, you, are so, a, you, are a, you say it's contradiction. That's good. Let's go. Okay. So well, I, 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 I want to say, say this, though. I want to say this. You making sense of the verse... I, I, I grant you whatever interpretation your microphone the verse. Your microphone is muff yeah, that microphone is muffling. No, but yeah. Hello? Maybe it's off or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good, Avery. Uh, how about this? Is it better? Yeah, it's better. yeah. yeah. I'll, okay. I'll let you go. I'm not going to interrupt you, but let me respond when you're done. Okay. So, <clears throat> no matter how you interpret this, so it sounds like how you interpreted it is is going against what the verse says. That the burden that the person is burden uh, is taking on is really his own it's his own because he misled the person and so the work of misleading 
And the things that they do, it's his work, so he's bearing his burden. It's not really the other person's burden that he's bearing. It's really his own. That's not what the verse says. The verse says, and, and this is why I love 1625 specifically. There's another verse that says this. But I love 1625 specifically because it says that they will bear their own burdens in full. In full to its completion. So whatever work is a sin that's attributed to them, misleading the person, whatever, that is going to be attributed to them and they will take it on in full, completely. So the, the amount of burdens that that, uh, that that person committed, they are taking it on in full. But then no. it continues no, 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 and then no, says, no, no. No, let, let it him continues finish. Let and him says, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish. Then it let continues and says, as well as, as well as. So in addition to their own, to the completion of their own burdens, they will also bear the burdens of others. So these burdens are not their burdens because they're bearing their own burdens in full. Now they're also taking on burdens of others that they misled. Okay. So if you, if you want to say that's fair and all that kind of stuff, cool. I don't okay. care. It's not about that. The fact Let is, is that mm -hmm. they already are bearing their own burdens in full. Right. Yeah. And then as well as taking on other people's burdens that they misled. That's okay. a contradiction. Okay. While the other verse says, no bearer of burdens. Nobody who bears burdens will be bearing the burdens of another. Period. It's a contradiction. You don't okay. know. Uh, do, do you, you want to go, Proud Muslim, and I'll go after you, or do you want me to go? Okay, we're going to say this, and I'm going to continue saying it, but he can never get it because he's not a Muslim. And no, he's no, I'm not a believer, bro. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. Because I'm not a believer. I need no, no, to be no, no, a no, believer okay. in order to understand no, no, no. the verse. A, a, a non-Muslim should be able to get it. It's, it's No, you can't fault. get it, bro. It's, it's, what are you talking about? Bro, no, it's, it's our fault. I can't get it, man, because I'm not a believer, Habibi. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm a Muslim. I submit, but I'm not a believer, Holmes. No, bro, I'm coming. I'm coming. No problem. No problem. I'm coming, bro. You know why he can get it, okay? Listen to me. You say he can get it. He can never get it, bro. Take it easy, okay? Muslim brother, take it easy. Allah's one of he gave the Muslim the Quran, right? So, whoever, listen, Allah says something in the Quran, okay? Uh, in their heart, there's disease, okay? When there is disease in the wrong heart, yeah, yeah. I is. am offended. Brother, no. brother, brother, we, we can't say that because we don't know you what's in his heart. You can't say that. No, we, 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 don't, we, don't, we, don't know, we don't know what's in his heart, okay? We don't know what's in his heart. I am appalled that you would this say something about like, he's, he's, he's a great, he's a great man. He's a great man. No, 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 no. To me, it's not. It does, it's not a great man. To me, that's you. Okay. So let me tell you something. This is the thing that. How dare yeah, yeah. you? So, you, you know that you can deal with me. You know that. How? So, brother, how coming, dare you, I'm brother? How do you expect to bring him to Islam? Exactly. How do you? I'm you're tainting your dawah right now, bro. <laughs> no, no, but but, but, but he, he okay. He brings up a good point. So let's let's actually answer oh, God, it because God, God, we could God, we could please. easily answer this. Oh, I think. God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. You see, uh, before I started, I said you're gonna bring up a question from the Quran that we answer you. Okay, is it that you take it or leave it? Then we ask you a question from your Bible. Is it that I take it or I leave it? That is me. I <laughs> okay, can't force okay. you accept my answer neither you can force me to accept your answer okay, okay? so if you want to really do something really here really good then you ask question we answer you you can reboot the but you reboot the answer whatever yeah, you like yeah. Okay. okay. Avery, Avery, I could, I could, okay, Avery, Avery, let me uh, give you a parable and then I want you to reread the verse with this in mind. Okay, please. Can we do it? <laughs> By the way, you have a beautiful smile, brother. Beautiful. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, listen, listen. So we, adult sites, right? Let's talk about adult because I don't want to say the word. I don't know if TikTok's allowed, but I'll say adult sites, right? X-rated. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's haram smart, in Christianity, smart. right? It's haram in Christianity, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let's say people, let's say one person, a man, he engages in this website. It's a sin, correct? Yeah. And he will have full burden of the sin, right? Only him because yeah. he's did it. Okay. Now the peep, the person who made the website, 
he will get a sin for making the website, but do you think that another sin won't be added on for everyone that watches his website that commits into sin? Now, well, reread is, is that is that his, is that his sin or is that the other person's sin? It's so so the other person that was engaging in the site, he has his own sin. Okay, okay. nobody will take away that sin or nobody will lift the burden. He messed up. He was engaging in this in this website. He has a sin, but the guy who made the website gets the sin for making the website and gets the sin for facilitating the website to allow that other guy to do the sin. So that's what this verse means. This was about paganism, bro. People that made the idols and they, they could they could have passed away. And then it's like other people, they see an idol, they start bowing down. So the people bowing down get the sin, but the other guy who died gets the sin for making the idol and he gets another multiplier sin for every single person who does the paganism with his idol that he built. That's all this means, bro. It's not like we're taking away people's sin. It's not like some bank transaction, wire deposit. No, no, no. Let me ask, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So, so that's what that means, all right, bro? Let me, let me ask you this. And, and, and when, could, could when, people when, stop being disrespectful, when, when the, please? Like, the, forget, the forget the, listen, forget the comments because this is the internet. This is TikTok. It's toxic like, here. It, 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 like, you got to just- With this humanity, just, bro. You got you to gotta bla bla blat it out, bro. You got to just focus yeah. on us. Well, I, ho I hope that made a little bit more sense to you. You know, because so I'm look, not trying to- Listen, listen, listen. I understand your analogy. I even understand what proud Muslim was saying. I get it. Just this, this, but I'm showing you where it doesn't connect, where it doesn't fit the verse. Okay. It's the English. So look, let's, I'm gonna I'm go with your same analogy. Let's go with the with the the okay. the um the paganism. The paganism. The, let's go with the paganism one. Okay. So man creates a statue, encourages others to uh, to mm -hmm. commit idolatry. Others yeah. begin to commit idolatry because of this man's statue that he built in his encouragement. Okay, boom. Now, his sin is creating the statue in the first place, right? Okay. His sin also is encouraging others to worship the idol. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So those are his sins. Now, the people that listen to him and worship the idol themselves, yeah. when they worship the idol, yeah. Is that their own burden or is that his burden? It's both. So they should, so they, they don't share a sin. They get a sin and then he gets another sin. That's what okay. that is. Okay. So, no so every time, every time someone begins to worship that idol, mm -hmm. that, that, that person's worship of the idol becomes a sin for the creator of the idol, right? Yes. And if I could just add something too, it goes the other way. So if I build a well and I die, Right. I actually let's, get good. Let's stay here. Let's stay Hold on. It's, 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 it's same thing, though. It's positive, negative. If oh, I die and I build please, a well. Let's, stay, let's keep it simple. Let's stay no, but, with this analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I build a well, people drink from it. Let's I die. Stay, I still get good deeds. This, dude, I still get good deeds even after stay, I die. Okay. No worries. Let's stay with the analogy. Just, just keep yeah. it simple. All right. Okay. So, so I don't know if So if the person who worships the idol, the person who did it, who did the action. Yeah. Let's say I'm the one who created the statue, okay? Yeah. I did not, I am not, I am not a proud Muslim who began to worship the idol because of me. He worshiped the idol. I did not worship the idol. I misled him, though, to worship the idol. So the misleading of him to worship the idol is my sin. Mm -hmm. Now, him actually worshiping the idol, him worshiping the idol is his sin, right? Mm -hmm. It's his sin and your sin. Okay, so because that means I because if the okay, I got there, you. So right? his burden, I will be bearing some of his burdens as well as my own. No, correct? it's a different. It's no, no. It's one sin and one sin. So it's not, who's, it's not like who, half. My question is this. My question is this. Whose burden is it? Whose sin is it? It's the, everyone's. El it's everyone's for themselves. They're individual. You get the sin for building the idol. You get the sin every time someone bows down to the idol, and they yeah, get is, the sin for bowing down is, to the is, idol too. Is it my is is bowing down to the idol my sin or the person who bowed down? It's sin? my sin for bowing down on my book, and then it's a sin on your book as well. Another sin for Good. putting the idol so, there. So the burden of you bowing down. Gets put onto me because so why do I, I created the idol for you to bow down to. Then right? I would have no sins. So, okay. oh, exactly. So according no, to the verse, sense. that doesn't so make look, sense. So look, according to the, I know, 
I know that's that's the part. That's the part with if it, does, but whether it makes sense or doesn't make sense, it's a contradiction. No, it's because not. The verse no. says, "Look, the verse says that I will bear my own burdens in full." So, miss me yes. misleading me misleading you to bow to the idol. Yeah, that's, that's my burden, right? You can't share sins. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you, can't you can't share, share sins. Sin. Exactly. You, you cannot. You just, yeah. you just, thank you. You, yeah, can't, you can't share that. sins. Yeah. So you bowing down to the idol, it's not both of our sins. It's one or the other. It's you either built, my sin yeah, but you get or a it's your sin. It. But you built the idol to mislead people. You should get okay, a sin for exactly. that. Exactly. So the misleading is my sin. The bowing down is your sin. But who's, who's exactly. getting that burden of you bowing down? Me. Not according to the verse. According to the verse, no, I'm getting put, that burden of you bowing and down. And if you never put it there, I would have never bowed down. Exactly. So, so, so the point is, exactly. Yeah. So the point is, is that I'm bearing the burden of misleading you to sin. So, so your sin is being put yeah. onto me because I misled you to do that. So, so bearing in this case would mean that you're taking the sin away from I'm me. I'm taking the sin. But you're, but so that means, okay, so base, okay, let's use numbers, one sin and one sin, right? Sure. You're, you're, if you were correct with this, that means the person bowing down has zero sins. And that's uh, not uh, true. Correct. But that's not true. That's not what this that's, is talking but about. But that's what the verse says. No, it's saying that they must bear their own burden, but people. And? Yeah. So this and? is people bowing down and people who are misguided no, no, others. No. Nope. No, no, no. Look, look, it doesn't say it does not say that the people who are misled will bear their own burdens. It doesn't say that. It says that the misleader will bear the burdens of the misled. The, the leader. This is in one. This is a 1625. Yes. The mislead, the, the mis the misleader will be bearing the burdens of the misled. It doesn't say that the misled will be bearing their own burdens. Their burdens will be put on the one who misled them. So am I going to ask question or not? Uh, well, as soon as, whenever King Mo feels finished with this, well, we can move on to the Bible. Okay. I mean, I, I understand it the way it is. I don't see, where do you see misled? Like, I don't see that in 1625. It says that they may bear their own burdens and their sins, right? In full day of judgment. And some of the burdens of those whom they misguided without knowledge. There you go. So, misguided, misled, same thing. So they get so they get a sin for building the idol, and then they get sins for everybody else that they misguided. But that doesn't mean that they took away sins from the people they misguided. Well, if, if they get sins from people misguided, and then the people that are misguided get sins for doing bad things. Right, so that's let me ask you how, this. That's, let me, that's let me, very clear. Let me let me ask you this, okay? When we go back to the first verse, right? What does it mean when it says, "No bearer of burdens"? will bear the burdens of another. Well, what does it mean to so, bear so the burden of another? So if we're in judgment day, right, you know, and I'm a sinner, I'm very bad, right? And Avery, you're good, man. Like God loves you. You're on the path, right? But you like me, you know, I, you, know you, you like my vibes. You know, you remember me from that one TikTok night, you know, and I'm just like, bro, could you take a sin from me, bro? Like I need, I need one, like maybe take a sin, Maybe we'll do some transaction here so I could go to heaven or maybe level one while you're level seven. Right. We'll and it won't happen, right? And it won't it's happen. Like, it's like that, right? You okay, good. So, right, so stop people. there. So stop there. So we understand that bearing burdens means taking on burdens, taking on sin. Taking people's sins away from them and on to you. Okay. So that's what yeah. bearing burdens means. From my Got knowledge, it. yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. I have the same understanding. So no bearer of burdens, one who bears burdens himself, his own burdens, will bear the burdens of another, will take on the sin of another, will exactly. bear the burden of another. Okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Flat out. Now, the other verse, 1625, says that I will bear my own burdens and I will bear the burdens taking on the sin of others that I've misguided. Yep. It's a contradiction. No, it's not taking their sin. I, I how do you that. how do you change it all of a sudden, bro? It's not it's not taking the sin. It's they get additional sins for everybody they misguide. Okay, well I rest my case here, and you rest your case. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Let's let let's let proud Muslim get to his get to his question. That was a that was a good exchange though, King Mo. Good exchange, bro. Oh, bro. Uh, I'm not okay. a, that, that was just my gaming clan. I'm just Mo. Sorry. Oh, Mo. Okay. Yeah, that, no, that, that was a good game. exchange. Salam Alma C, Sheikh. What up, Imam? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the second crowding for chapter chapter nine. Second Chronicle chapter nine, verse twenty-five. What does it say? <clears throat> read it. What do you mean, read it? You got you got it open, don't you? Proud, you, got, you can't be hostile as a Muslim, bro. <laughs> Come on. <bro. laughs> I I don't know your history though, so I mean I'm coming in the middle of the story. Me and proud Muslim are the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> he loves me, and I love him. By the way, while you guys go at it, I'm going to do some more research because maybe there's an explanation for 3518. So you guys go at it. You I'm better gonna... not use no hadith because we don't trust hadith. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. We original Quran only Christians up in here. That's right. <laughs> All right. So what does it, it say, bro? Okay. Um, Second Chronicles chapter 9, verse 25 says, And Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses. Um four horses and chariot and 12,000 horsemen whom he bestowed in the chariot city and with the king at Jerusalem. What do you understand with that verse? Why are you taking my style? It's not mine. It's not your style. Okay, sorry. Why are you taking my style? Get, 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 your, get your own swag, probably. Okay, no, problem. no problem. No problem. No, okay. but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me, uh, let me plug in the verses here, okay? So you said Second Chronicles 9? Yeah, 25. 25. Mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 9. Verse 25. Yeah. And what is the other verse? The other verse, other verse would be first kings. First, first kings. kings. Yeah. Four, verse 26. 426. All right. <clears throat> we are going to put these side by side. And we're going to look at these and see if there's a contradiction here. All right. So looking at the looking at it, I think it'll help if we all see it as well. All right, everyone, you are about to get your first class of reading comprehension 101. Are you ready? Okay. So the first verse that he brought to us is Solomon had 4,000 stalls, four horses and chariots, and 12,000 horsemen, whom he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem, okay? He had 4,000 stalls, four horses and chariots. Almost like how Allah doesn't pray to, but prays for Muhammad. He had 4,000 stalls, four horses and chariots. Okay, pay attention now. In the other verse, it says that Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. So 4,000 and 40,000, what happened? These are talking about two different things. No. One says, no. One says that he has 4,000 stalls. Is for it, it horses and four horses and chariots. Is it different people? Uh, oh, did you did you want me to answer? Or did you want me to answer or what? You uh, matter of oh. fact, do you want to like just lay out your argument and then I answer, or what do you want to do? Because you're trying to twist it. You're trying to well, lie you, like that. You, well, you, well you, you you let me know what you want to do. I'll, I'll okay, you, now I'll the point is now, 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 now listen. Now listen. Listen. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. I'll listen the to what, you, your the argument, question, and then the and then I'm gonna answer you up after with no interruption. Okay. Okay, no problem. Right. The question is, how many people are we talking about here? Is it two Solomon or one Solomon? Is it two Solomon or one Solomon? Is this, that really? Is that is that really your your question here? The, that was the first this question. This is good. This yeah. is getting yeah. funny logic. Yeah, what, what? yeah, man. Look, look. Problem is, look. Listen, bro. I want you to okay. make your case here because I was literally in the middle of answering you, but then you cut me off. So it sounded like you wanted to make your full argument before I answered you fully. So I'm going yeah, to let you make. I'm gonna let you make your full. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna let you make your full argument. One, and then I'll give okay. my answer. Okay. No problem. So the there. first first one says Solomon had what four thousand. The first one says Solomon had 
4,000. Okay? 4,000. That's what we see in Second Chronicles chapter 9. 4,000 what? 4,000 stores for okay. horses and Got chariots. It. Right? Yeah. 4,000 stores for horses and chariots. Mm -hmm. Then when we get to First King chapter 4 verse 26, it says Solomon had 40,000 stores for horses. Of, not for, of. What are you talking about? Do you not see it? It says stalls of horses. The other one is for. He has stalls for horses and his chariots. While this one says 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots. That's contradiction. No, it's not. These are saying two, two different things. Let me tell you why now. Can I answer you now? Two different things. Oh, that's I'll a contradiction, show, I'll, bro. I'll show you. Are you ready for the answer? Go ahead. Thank you. So a contradiction, ladies and gentlemen, is A and, uh, and non-A at the same time. So literally, you have two different statements here. It's not even the same statement. Not even the same of the opposite statement. You know what I'm saying? So it fails in that category as a contradiction already. Not like what I showed you guys, where one says, none can bear the burdens of another, while the other says, some can bear burdens of others um, under a condition. That's a contradiction. Two that's completely a, opposite things of the same, of the same thing. While here you have two different statements, not even saying the same thing. It's not A and non-A. Okay, this is A and B. Okay, so for example, just going through this, the sentence is not the same here. Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots. So he has 4,000 stalls that holds his horses and his chariots, okay, together. This one says Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots. So you have 4,000 stalls that hold horses and chariots, but then you also have specifically the stalls of horses alone for the chariots. So that means that each stall that has the chariot, there's 10,000 horses in each stall. And all 4,000 stalls, these 4,000 stalls, it's holding 10,000 horses each. You done? There's your, there's your answer. Bro, <laughs> so you try to turn around the contradiction, right? Okay, no problem. I'm not gonna question you, go ahead, no problem. Go ahead. Masha, Let's go. Masha, sure. I'm, I'm glad you could get your answer today. No, can no, no, I see no, if no. I, I can I, I see if I understood that yeah, properly as well, logic? Yep. So what? basically, the two verses do not contradict because they describe different type of stalls. The stalls exactly. in one Kings four twenty six were of horses, which yep. were used for chariots and by horsemen. Nothing in the verse says that these stalls were for the chariots though Correct. on the other hand the stalls in second chronicles 925 were for horses and chariots Correct. Such, a, such a stall to house both horses and chariots would not have been as numerous as stalls to a house just as horses because there is a always a smaller ratio of chariots to horses in fact Second Chronicles 114 says there were 1400 chariots. Hence, it makes sense that there would be uh, the, the description that we have, of course. So it seems like I picked up on it correctly. I think everybody else did too. So, I mean, I mean that, that's, a, that's a clear contradiction, but no problem. So you, you, you won't bring this up to another Christian, right? What? You won't bring this up to another Christian, right? You got your answer today. I would definitely. I don't have the answer. Let's go. You you do have the answer. No, 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 no. I don't have it. Okay, so why would you bring this up to another Muslim after you just got a response today? <laughs> because they don't get it, but you don't get it. Okay, so tell me. what Can you tell us where my answer is flawed? Okay, thank you. He said Solomon had 40,000 stalls. How many stalls does he have right there? In that 40,000 stalls of horses. 40,000 <laughs> 40, of horses. Stalls of horses. What is the stalls of horses? It's stalls that hold the horses only. 
And what's the other one? What's okay, the what one? is the shape? The, 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 the other one holds. Me, the other one holds stalls. Oh, the other stalls hold okay. horses and chariots at the same time. Okay, so so these Solomon are two different categories of stalls here. Okay, <laughs> Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses, right? Correct. Okay, now for his chariot, right? Not for his chariots. For his chariot. For his chariots, he has so for the stalls and for the horses and chariots, he has forty thousand of those. Forty thousand stalls that hold horses and chariots together. So that would mean that there are ten thousand horses in each of these stalls. Okay, Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots, right? No. Oh yeah, yes, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. And twelve thousand horsemen, right? Yes. Okay, now when we get to Second Chronicle, right, verse, chapter nine, verse twenty-five, he said, Solomon had four thousand stores for horses and chariots. Correct. That's a contradiction, bro. Tell me how. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, Where's the contradiction, no, no. bro? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait again. Wait again. Listen. Listen again. He literally Solomon, said it properly too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly, we're, 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 what are we arguing here? Like, we're arguing little words and stuff. We should argue main ideas, like how could yeah, a but, man be God? Or... Hey, Mo, can can you at least look at this, Mo, and see no, that I, I, in Second Chronicles nine twenty five that is saying that these stalls are for the horses and the chariots, and in First Kings four twenty six it says that the stalls are of the horses for. The chariots, but it's of the horses, not of the horses and sure, sure. the chariots. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And, and by the so way, the first this is one all... is just horses. The second one sure. is horses and chariots, sure. right? I mean, I mean, we we can see where proud Muslim is coming from, right? But I mean, you, that's a good answer. It is different, technically, right? It is different, but it could be this. By the way, it could be the same. It could. There is a chance, but. It, there's no chance we're reading okay, we're no looking at it. there's no chance and it's not even it's just an argument it's not listen this is a friendly reminder that god is watching us right now it's not about who wins the, the debate it's about the integrity that you uphold guys so let's always be respectful here and the tone is really because let's, let's have a, a, a discussion yes. okay i agree so, the integrity of sticking to the scripture and being honest with what it okay. says Okay. Proud Muslim, do you have any, any last things? I mean, maybe you, you could uh, agree to disagree here, or do you want to move on to something no, else? No, like, no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's move on. Okay. No, no. So, 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 okay. So God, so we all know that Jesus in the Christian faith is God, right? And the son of God, right? At the same time. Correct. No, no, no. He, he got it. Yes. Got a question. And then I ask questions. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. Cause we, we yeah. are, we already asked. Uh, okay. We, so, I, so I when, asked a lot of a lot of Islamic questions already. So, so, so when Jesus is on the cross, right? When Jesus is all on the cross and he says, "God, you have forsaken me," 